Penelope? Really, Huckleberry? You want to play with me right now? No. Because you've done quite enough, haven't you? Maya? Lucas, you got an opinion on this? Yeah. What do you got, Mr. Moral Compass? Did you just call Lucas Fryer your moral compass? <laughs> Something bad is happening, Maya. Yeah. It occurs to me you're trying to tell us Ranger Rick was a little different back in Texas. A little? What do they know exactly? Because I don't want to say anything wrong. They know you're a year older, right? Yeah. Now they do? Back in Texas, I did something. Tell me nothing changes. That's all you have to do, Lucas. You hear me? I just called you by your actual name for the first time ever. That's how important this is to me. Because it's important to her. Deny it. Were you thought out of school? Yes. For a whole year? Yes. I finally like you. <laughs> you told me you wanted to be a veterinarian. You told me you gave birth to a horse. That had to hurt. <laughs> Huckleberry, Huckleberry. Whatever bad, bad things you did at your old school, you were still such a Huckleberry. Why? You need water to rinse off. Back in Texas, we appreciate a nice pointy boot. They can end a fight real quick. Unless somebody knows to put his heel on the soft part where all your toes are. Ow. <laughs> now I'm sure you like dough punch. Except I got both your wrists and I'm as strong as a horse. I don't even work at it, I just am. The way I see it, all that matters is what happens after you let go. Yeah. I know it'd be simpler just to start taking shots at each other. But I'm gonna tell you something. And you really need to hear this. In the end, you're gonna be the one on the floor. And I'm gonna be the one who walks away. <sighs> Buffalo nickel. That's what you're putting in the time capsule? Yeah. My grandfather gave it to me for... Anyway, my grandfather gave it to me. No, 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 no. For what? Pappy Joe gave it to you for what? Don't call his grandfather Pappy Joe. It actually was Pappy Joe. You knew that? Uh, it would have been anything I said. Why'd he give you the nickel? Why? Nothing. He gave it to me for being a good little boy. No, 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 no. Tell us. I was a little kid. I went to a kitty rodeo. And I was the only one who made it the whole eight seconds. You rode a bull? It was sort of like a bull. Here comes funny. I rode a sheep. <laughs> it's a real thing. It's called mutton busting. You're putting in your sheep nickel, Billy Bob? No. I changed my mind about that. I'm not going to be the cause of this. Too late, Huckleberry. Yeah, Huckleberry. You know why it happened, Maya? All you do is call me names. I finally struck back once. This has nothing to do with you, who I will deal with later. Ye. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't take it anymore. I finally called her a name. She's called me a thousand names. I called her one name. Move. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> He's under my protection. You want to tangle with me? Not yet. I, who fired the first shot? I called Maya a short stack of pancakes. OK, now, was that really the first shot? Or did Maya call you anything to make you say that to her? She called me Huckleberry. There's also a possibility I may have called him Ranger Rick once. Once? Oh, yeah, Ranger Roy once. Ranger Rick is every day. Oh, don't forget about Bucky McBoing Boy. Oh, that was a fun day. Oh, and she comes up to my face and goes, ha her like it's the way I talk. Huh. OK, now why do you do that? Because he lets me. Oh, well, why do you let her? Yeah, I like to know that myself. And all he did was call you a short stack of pancakes, and you're mad at him? I'm not mad at him. I'm mad at her. I'm a pancake. Freak. The rest of you are going to spend the afternoon thinking about that, with the exception of Lucas the Good. Oh, boy. Is that going to stick? I'm already making t-shirts. <laughs> you put me in a real bad position here, sir. <laughs> I got to do something. You can fight this, Lucas. No, I can't, sir. Everyone's looking. OK, do what you got to do. Detention. Oh, thank you, sir. Feel better, Huckleberry? I'm just like you now. Yeah, we're exactly the same. You know what else? I don't think I've ever been this hungry. I feel your injury. I'm kind of hungry, too. And it's not like a regular kind of hungry, right? No, no. This one's deep. Must be attended to. <laughs> Maya. 
If there's no good kids out here noticing us, then what's the point? You questioning my leadership, Hop Along? Okay, these names you're calling me are killing my street cred. Oh, and what would you like me to call you? I'd like you to call me Mad Dog. You don't seem like a mad dog to me. Well, what do I seem like to you? You know that lamb that Mary had? I don't like the way that this is going. <laughs> this world's gonna belong to you soon. Oh, uh, the one you messed up? Yeah, thanks anyway. <laughs> Board of Education, I do believe I am. <laughs> That's okay, thanks. Uh, I don't know, Maya. You may want to consider this one. You got a bike that goes with that outfit? 1800 cc twin cam fat bob fuel tank wide glide. What do you ride? He rode a sheep. 62 pound quad hoof white fleece kind you can't before you fall asleep, Bob. Bah. Want to race? No. You want to know what I think about you? No, I do not. But I want to tell you. I don't think you need to. I'm going to do it anyway. Don't do it. It's been a while. I'm asking you not to do it. I'm going to do it. You want to run or you want to straighten the face? Well, I want to run, but how would that look? <laughs> you guys wouldn't judge me if I run, right? <laughs> Come on, man. There's always another option. <laughs> You okay now? <laughs> that was good. What'd you get, Huckleberry? No, I got most likely to be okay with anything that ever happens. How do you feel about that? Well, actually, I'm okay with it. Oh. Then who cares? Stupid countries don't even know who they are. Stupid countries. Maya? Lollipops and circuses and things that rhyme with that. No! This is your solution, Maya? Hi. Hey. Hi. No! <laughs> and you are a complete ray of sunshine. And you are not. And that's who we are. I don't know what this is, but I do know that if you let someone say who you are, then you really won't be who you are. And you certainly won't end up being who you were meant to be. Maya, you're the most secure person in this room. You have a great life. Why would you change? I mean, okay, not great life. I mean, your family life could be, you know, better. But at least at school, you're, uh, you're here a lot, right? Little help, please? Why would you be dancing with me if you're officially a huckleberry? No, I'm not, I'm not dancing with you. How you doing? I had to break a tea cowboy, but you're still dancing with me, and Riley's dancing with that guy. We're all friends. What else is there to figure out? Yeah. Glad you could join us, Smackle. Lucas, you have to stop. It's never gonna happen. Lucas, take a hint. <laughs> wow. Hey, our friend was worried about something. So we learned about it. If I knew it was studying, I wouldn't have done it. Don't hold back, Smack. Just say what's on your mind. Why are you smiling at me so pretty? Because I want the last thing you ever see to be nice. <laughs> Why are you my second Huckleberry? Shouldn't you be over there with Riley? Well, it was decided that if things get out of hand, I was the best choice to contain you. Oh, you think you can? Yeah, but I'll probably pay for it pretty good. Okay, this ought to hold him. And did you really think there was anything you could put in this window to keep me from helping you? We don't like it when you get like this. Tell him, Maya. Um, Lucas, pick up that bed with one arm. <laughs> All right, I was trying something, and now I'm going back to the way things were. Ah! Yeah, we're not talking about you two. Oh, no, what'd you do? Oh, Lucas, in your whole history, we know what has always been your biggest regret. Bye. What's that? Why would you do that? Bah! You used to be a champion sheep rider at the Mutton Bust and Rodeo until you fell off a due to the sheep. And then you gave up, but you never got over it. That is my deepest, darkest secret. No one knows I fell off Judy the sheep except 
We have made that possible. How? How'd you make that possible? Show it to him. Rod Lucas, Rod Boy! We have entered you in the annual mutton busting tournament in Austin, Texas. In front of everybody you know. Yay! You can't enter me in mutton busters. You can't be over eight years old or over 55 pounds. Oh, you are wrong, young Lucas. We entered you last week and your application has been accepted. Read it again. Blah, blah, blah. Over the age and weight limit for Mountain Busters, blah. We have placed you in the adult rodeo where you will blah, ride Tombstone the Sheep. Oh, you only got one word wrong. <laughs> Let's see if they find that one word. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, bull. You signed me up to ride Tombstone the Bull. Are you excited? <laughs> What's the difference between riding a sheep and riding a bull? Death. Death is the difference. I'm here because I could not be more proud of my grand boy, Lucas. Pappy Joe. That's your Pappy Joe. That's Pappy Joe. Yes, more stuff. Remember when you fell off of Judy's sheep in about two seconds, boy? Remember that? You put us in the mud hole, remember, boy? Yes. There is one moment in every man's life that shapes who he is forever. My moment was Judy the sheep. You did this. And when he wake up, what? Oh. <clears throat> what? I know it's early, but my life is complete. Well, thank you. Thank you. All I know. Oh, hi. Hey, uh, yeah, I just saw Tombstone the Bull, and uh, why do you hate me? Come on, a bull is just a man cow. You're scared of a man cow. A moo. You two have never actually seen a bull, have you? No. What we'd like to see are some cold drinks inside an air conditioned refreshment tent. Oh, looky here. <gasps> I just think you may react differently when you actually see a man cat. You like me? No. Maya, why didn't you want me to ride in the rodeo? Because I didn't want you to win and get all conceited. I don't think that's it. I don't think that's it. I don't talk like that. I just don't. Stop. <laughs> so this is our new relationship? Yeah. How's it going so far? Weird, man. You don't have to watch. I can't look away. You think they like each other? So, what are you thinking? Oh, now? Oh, it's so funny you mentioned that. Actually, right now, in this exact moment, what I was thinking, what was running through my head was, actually, if you don't start talking to me, I'm going to pour the smoothie right over your head. So why don't you give me the best you got? <laughs> Did I ever tell you once I delivered a baby horse? Actually, it looks kind of like this. <laughs> the miracle of life. Who goes on a date and doesn't talk to each other? Oh, yeah, we do. Hi. Hello. Oh. Say me now. Me now. You have every right. Her show offs. I believe in $5 worth of ice cream. Ah, oh, boo! Okay, I can't work with St. Huckleberry the Perfect. Tell me about it. Riley, change partners? Absolutely. Oh, of course, he'd make it a square dance. Okay, you want to pick a card for us? Yeah. How would you describe your personality? Library or campfire? Oh, well, you know. 
Strawberry, it's just a game. Is it possible to love two people at the same time? Oh, <laughs> yo. Our turn. Do I look sleepy to you? <laughs> oh boy, he's like a sleep machine. Well, good night. <laughs> okay, you get that? I have to do something. All you have to do is come in this afternoon and drop a marble. I have to drop a marble? I will pick it up and hand it to you. I have to take it from you? That's it. Well, how's my hand supposed to get to the beaker? You know what? Let's just move the beaker to the very edge of the desk so you don't even have to lean forward. I have to put this in that? That's it. It's too much. <laughs> Yeah, Lucas, didn't you tell me to drop the marble? Yeah, I wanted us to do well on the midterm. Because you have no faith in my scientific ability. Because you fall asleep in my hand. Oh, you're talking to us? She is. I go where she goes. Yeah, I was waiting for you, partner. You just have for me to sit down? No. No, 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 I was just padding for a better place for me to sit. I like this little ferret. Hi. Definitely patch up the hole that Ginger came in through a year ago. Wait a minute, what? Your cat that's a ferret is a rat. Oh, there you go. <laughs> You're changing the bay window? Oh, look what you did. You made hee-haw show up out of nowhere. Both you are special to me, and... whatever way you'll eventually tell me. <laughs> Will you please be kind? Einstein captured Farkle. It was their end of the year prank. So since they took our mascot, we took theirs, and now we're even. Farkle's not our mascot. What would you call him? <laughs> He's the new you. Donnie Barnes, regular goose. The people who do that are the ones we study in here. So your last. What? I looked at Riley. I know, I saw. So I'm looking at you to even it up. Oh, well, a girl always wants to be looked at to be evened up. We're just friends, and I love your outfit. Hey! Your hair smells nice! You smelled her hair? Lucas! I'm dying here! I have an idea. What's our prank? <laughs>